Vault 111 actually has an empty cryopod, which might imply that this particular inhabitant managed to escape. However, that is simply not the case. The Vault 111 monitoring terminal lists the occupant status of this cryopod as not applicable, as opposed to the manual overrides being engaged. This simply means that this cryopod was never filled in the first place. Furthermore, if you head to the overseas terminal, it does state that every registered vault inhabitant managed to make it to the vault in time before the bombs dropped. In there as well, it does state that cryopods which are empty are meant to be used as a way to dispose of dead bodies of any insubordinate Vault 111 staff that need to be killed. The security terminal in Vault 111 details the reservations that one of the security guards had for not telling the vault inhabitants that they would be frozen. However, this is because the vault experiment specifically was testing the effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects, not subjects that were actually aware of what was going on. 